Hello, my name's Kira Mokalami and I'm a Piper, a little Piper from County Donegal in Ireland and I made the tragic mistake of trusting and post Ireland's National Postal Service. If you bear with me, I'll tell you my story. So, I have a set of pipes made in 2016 by the world-renowned uh, pipe maker Andreas Raga which I wanted to send back to him uh, for some work on reeds. So, thinking of which courier I would use to send my pipes to Germany, the first uh, company that came into my mind would obviously be Anpost. As an Irish person, I grew up using Anpost, and my family had a long connection with Anpost. My great granny ran a post office from the foundation of the state. My grandfather worked most of his life with Impost. His sister and his brother also spent their life working with Impost. So I had great trust in Impost. So I decided to use Impost to send my pipes to Germany. I picked their best service, which is track and trace or registered post. You get a number where you can track the parcel as it goes over and I declared that the pipes were worth uh, several thousand euro, which they are. They would be worth around 6,000 euro. So while the pipes were in the post, I was keeping an eye on them as they were going along. They reached Dublin, Germany, and they were in some depots for a few days. And eventually they arrived at the destination, or the package arrived at the, at the destination, but the man on the other end rang me to say that a package arrived and it definitely wasn't the package that I sent. It had my labels on it, but it was an empty sort of a bag. I sent the pipes in a hard case made specifically for the job. So my pipes were gone. They hadn't arrived. And another package, an empty package with my labels, arrived on it. So I went straight away to Impost. They gave me a form to fill out to launch an investigation and also to make a claim for compensation. So I didn't want compensation, I wanted the pipes back. So I put down that the pipes were valued at €6,000 and that would be my claim. An investigation was la uh, launched, which went on and on. So all through this time, I was trying to contact them post. You cannot contact them post by phone. The only way you can talk to them post is through web chat, and it's very unsatisfactory. So October went by, November went by, still nothing. By the end of November, through web chat, I was told that Deutsche Post were almost ready with the investigation and that they had a report put together and they were sending it to their compensation department and then it would be sent to Anne Post. That was all very well. Before Christmas, a letter arrived to say, yes, my pipes had not been delivered. That was it. No other information whatsoever. Your pipes have not been delivered. Please send us documents, it said, to support your claim. Uh, so obviously I got priceless, current pricelets from the pipe maker and wrote out in detail what was in the case and the value, etc., etc., and provided proof that that would be the value. I heard nothing again then until two days ago I get a letter saying, again, we apologise, uh, your pipes were not delivered again. No information about the report, uh, what they found out. There were three months in conducting an investigation and absolutely zero information about uh, what might have happened. And... Um, uh, attached to the letter was a cheque for 180 euros, 30 euro of your money back on the postage and 150 euro maximum compensation. It was completely unclear to me when, when sending the pipes that if the pipes went missing or were stolen en route that you were left with absolutely nothing. Not only this, but on post won't give me any information about where to start looking for the pipes, where the investigation might have led, have they any clues about where in Germany or in Ireland they might have gone missing. Uh, I don't know whether I should contact uh, police in Germany, 
if the pipes come up in somewhere in Europe on sale, do I have any rights? How do I prove that they're mine to get them back, etc., etc. And Post have left me completely high and dry, and I really don't know what to do. Now, as I said, I had complete trust in Post Track and Trace service, and now I have zero trust in it. And I would recommend to anyone thinking of sending anything of value by Post Track and Trace to think again, because you're really, really taking a serious risk. Now, if there's anyone out there who has any information that could help me or if any clues as to where the pipes might be or what might have happened, I'm willing to take recommendations from anyone. Thanks very much. Bye now.